Well, here's one of our five siblings. They've all fledged now, our little Cooper Hawks. They're not little anymore either. They're the same size as the adults now. They're full grown. They're just getting all their juvenile plumage now. And they've been flying since the 4th of July. They started to be branches going up on the limbs and flying to a really close tree and back. Now they're doing pretty good. They'll fly 60, 75 feet. Make a little attempt on the bird now and then. and They just kind of hang out together. One will find the spot and the other will come out and join him. And they still stick together. They feel more secure that way. They're kind of funny. Sometimes they try to lay down on the limb and take a nap. <laughs> but they're learning all their lessons. They're doing just well. It's been a great project. But watch the start in March when they were putting twigs in the nest, the adults, and doing the mating calls and getting their clutch eggs together and then the incubation and Papa coming in and feeding her and we're leaving her on the eggs and all that. So it's quite a project. Now we have to look for these guys because they're asleep back in under the leaves yet, but uh, they're still close to the nest. She's still feeding them there. In about August, they'll be. Uh, block or so away and, uh, and they'll be hunting on their own and mom will still keep an eye on them and then they'll be chasing with the crows. It's a strange thing at uh, Van Duren's Park along the river every year there's a nest of Cooper Hawks over that area. They all are there practicing chasing crows and the crows practice chasing them and it gets really interesting down there. So. By August 1st, that's where we'll go to check on them. This might be number five here. That's the latest one that hatched with a fuzzy on the top of his head there still, see? Yep, I'll bet that's our number five. So where the other four are, I don't know. Close by, I'm sure. But we'll keep an eye on number five here. And uh, see his tail feathers are coming all in, scratching up. Every time he scratches, a little fuzz flies off. So oh, he's yawning a little bit. All right. Well, we'll check around then and see if we can see some of the other ones. They're not too far away. And number five here is only about, oh, 50 feet from the nest, right about the same level. So if he flew straight over towards the nest tree to the right, he'd be uh, right in the nest, so. Probably a strategy is if mom brings the food, I'll be first in line for it, so. All right, looks like he wants to uh, check out things. Keeps looking around for the siblings and also watching every bird that moves and they're just learning. They're in. This is their classroom now. They gotta learn all the skills to survive, so. We'll check around and see who else we can find in here. <laughs> 